Right, Assalamualaikum and hi students. Let's continue our lesson on hybridization with sp3 hybridization. So uh, for this hybridization, uh, I use methane uh, CH4 for example. Right. So as usual, you have to draw the molecular shape for methane and determine the number of electron groups around the central atom which is carbon so we can see here there are four bonding pairs around carbon so there are four electron groups around carbon atoms and since there are four electron group the type of hybridization must be sp3 All right sp3 and the electron group arrangement is tetrahedral And the molecular shape, as you can see here, it is tetrahedral with bond angle 109.5 degrees. Alright, okay. So, uh, we are going to describe the formation of all single bonds or sigma bonds here. So, we have to refer to the electronic configuration of carbon which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2 and we have to focus on valence electron of carbon right so this is the valence these are the valence electrons of carbon okay carbon have uh, carbon has four valence electrons okay uh, like previous example we have to describe the hybridization process by using orbital diagram but focus on valence electron right so let's start with a uh, ground state of carbon so ground state of carbon okay uh, we have two s orbital okay draw the box which occupied by two valence electron Alright, okay, sorry, sepatutnya saya labelkan dululah. Okay, followed by 2p orbitals. Okay, there are 3 2p orbitals. But only uh, 2 2p orbitals occupied by electron with single or unpaired electron like this. Okay. Okay, so now by referring to the molecular shape or Lewis structure, you can see here there are 4 sigma bonds okay so in order to form four sigma bonds uh, carbon needs to form uh, needs okay carbon needs for uh, single or unpaired electron okay jadi maksudnya sekarang ni carbon perlukan empat unpaired electron ataupun empat electron yang tidak berpasangan in order to form the sigma bonds right tapi kalau you tengok pada ground state okay carbon baru ada two unpaired electrons Okay, jadi macam mana kita nak dapatkan ataupun macam mana carbon nak dapatkan 4 unpaired electrons. So, 1 electron from 2s orbital is promoted to 2p orbital. So, we have the next step which is called uh, promotion. Okay, promotion of electron. Okay, jadi promotion of electron ni juga sebenarnya Uh, in order dia nak hybrid tu dia mesti mencapai maksudnya orbitals ni semua dia mesti mempunyai uh, kestabilan lah dari segi energi so that's why selain dia promote elektron dia juga nak mencapai uh, stability in energy sebenarnya ok uh, jadi kita lukiskan lah kat sini uh, what happen selepas promotion of elektron so you can see here ok 2s orbital kita lukis labelkan 2s occupied by one electron okay next we have 2p orbitals 3 3 2p orbitals eh ada 3 2p orbitals dan ketiga-tiganya diisi terisi dengan elektron tapi unpaired single electron okay So now we can see here uh, Dah ada dah 4 unpaired electrons Ataupun 4 uh, single electrons Tapi sekarang Kita dah tentukan tadi di peringkat awal Bahawa carbon ini okay, Kalau saya refer kepada Lewis structure ini Okay sorry uh, Carbon okay, Dia undergoes sp3 hybridization Di mana S 
mix with 3P orbitals. Alright. Ha, jadi sekarang kita nak hasilkan carbon dia akan mix uh, 2S orbital dan ketiga 32P orbitals itu untuk menghasilkan a new set of, of hybrid orbitals yang kita panggil dia SP3. Okay sorry. SP3. Uh, hybrid orbitals Alright So let's continue With the uh, next process Or next step SP3 Hybridization Okay Macam biasa Saya dah ingatkan SP tu Mesti huruf kecil So Bila kita mixkan kat sini Okay Mixkan 1 tu S tu Memang ada satu Dengan 3 tu P orbitals Kita mix Okey, so kita akan dapat satu set orbital yang baru lah. Okey, yang ni saya tulis ke bawah sikit lah ya. Okey, kita akan dapat satu set orbital yang baru. Nama yang baru, rupa yang baru, tenaganya equivalent. Okey, equivalent. Okey, so now we can see here. Okey, we have S. Okey, satu, dua, tiga, empat. Okay, label it SP3 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 hybrid orbitals Okay, so ini kita panggil hybrid orbitals Yang mana dalam SP3 hybrid orbitals Ada 4 electrons Unpack electron Ah, Jadi sekarang yang penting untuk membentuk ke 4 sigma bond tu tadi Okay, carbon will use these hybrid orbitals Okay, uh, so sekarang you tengok the covalent bond is formed between uh, carbon and hydrogen. Okay, macam mana? Mesti melibatkan sharing of electron uh, dan juga orbital overlapping. Jadi untuk melukiskan proses seterusnya itu, uh, we have to refer to the uh, electronic configuration of hydrogen. So kalau kita tengok, hydrogen is 1s1. Okay, uh, jadi kalau kita saya lukiskan pula orbital diagramnya adalah seperti inilah. Okay, this is for hydrogen, 1s1. But for carbon, carbon ni tadi dia sudah menggunakan, dia akan menggunakan hybrid orbital yang baru. So, sp3 hybrid orbitals. Okay, hybrid orbitals of carbon. Ah, uh, Jadi, saya lukiskan balik lah eh. Ha, so kalau you tengok video yang satu lagi tu Yang saya lukis on paper tu Atas kertas tu ha, Saya tak buat lah yang ni ha, Ni nak membantu awak faham lah Okay so apa yang kita dapat kat sini SP3 SP3 ni kita dah dapat tadi kan SP3 SP3 So 1, 2, 3, 4 So kalau you tengok kat sini CH4 kan Methane CH4 So akan ada 4 lah hydrogen atoms Alright, cuma saya lukis satu je. Jadi, setiap satu ni, dia akan overlap untuk menghasilkan satu sigma bond. Ha, jadi, hidrogen akan ada empat, so dia akan overlapping. So, macam mana dia nak overlap? Uh, dia sebenarnya dia akan share elektron dengan melakukan overlapping lah. Okay, jadi sekarang kita nak lukis orbital overlapping. Okay, so kita kena refer kepada molecular shape yang kita dah predict by using Vesper theory. So, you nampak dia adalah tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. Jadi, Sebelum kita lukis, you mesti ada pengetahuan okay, Macam mana rupa hybrid orbital uh, yang kita panggil dia SP3 uh, Basically, SP3 dia mesti ada 4 loops Satu, ok Sekejap Ok, uh, lukis betul-betul lah ya, di chain uh, Maksudnya smooth saja, size pun lebih kurang sama 1, 2, 3 and 4 Ok Tolong lukis betul-betul smooth sahaja. Jangan menggigil-gigil macam saya buat ni lah. Okay. Sebab ini kita gunakan gadget kan. SP3. 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 Ha, you can see here. Ha, nampak? There are four. Ha, apa ni? Hybrid orbitals. Ha, Tally lah dengan apa yang kita buat ni. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. So, siapa yang, siapa punya ni SP3 hybrid orbitals ni? Ini adalah carbon punya. <coughs> okay, carbon punya. So, in each SP3 hybrid orbitals, occupied one occupied by one electrons. Okay, ha, you boleh refer kepada tadi lah orbital diagram. Okay, jadinya sekarang nak membentuk sigma bond itu, setiap sp3 hybrid orbitals, dia akan overlap dengan 1s 
uh, orbital of hydrogen ni. Uh, jadi kita kena lukis 1s orbital of hydrogen sebab yang mengalami hybrid hanya carbon. Okey. Uh, jadi uh, hydrogen atom tu dia punya 1s memang pure. Uh, jadi kita nak lukis macam mana? Kita kena tahulah dia punya shape. So 1s adalah uh, spherical shape kan? Uh, spherical. Okey, labelkan siapa punya this is hydrogen punya Uh, 1s ok so hydrogen ada satu elektron tetapi bila dia share apa yang berlaku kawasan yang overlap itu akan ada uh, bonding electrons uh, pad electron with opposite spin uh, so you nampak kat sini dah dapat satu sigma bonds alright ok continue dengan yang lain ok this is 1s ok of hydrogen labelkan mesti label clearly ok Uh, orbital overlap and then we get what another one sigma bonds okay next size 1s pun mesti lebih kurang samalah uh, dengan yang lain okay so overlap and then kat sini dapatlah sigma bonds dan satu lagi okay hydrogen 1s overlapping opposite spin kat sini and we have sigma Bonds. Alright. Okay. Ah, jadi kalau you refer kat sini, sepatutnya kita punya molecular shape ni mesti sama lah. Ah, nampak tak ni? Ah, dia sama kan? Mesti tally dengan apa yang kita predict tadi. Okay. So you can see each sigma bonds is formed from the overlapping between sp3 hybrid orbitals of carbon and 1s orbitals of hydrogen. Ah, dan Uh, according to Vesper theory, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, apa yang kita dapat, the molecular shape is uh, tetrahedral with bond angle 109.5 degrees. So, you boleh refer lah proses ni nanti. Uh, you boleh tengok video ni. And then, uh, mungkin boleh membantu awak lah untuk describe the hybridization process of uh, sp3 ataupun methane. Okay, ini sebagai contoh. Okay, thank you.